this is quick look at stable Fedora 42, the fantastic release that brings big updates, bug fixes, and performance improvements. Let's go ahead and discuss the all new features of Fedora 42. Fedora 42 brings a major overhaul to the Anaconda installer, transforming it into a native valent application. With the drop of X11 support, users can expect improved keyboard navigation on live ISOs and a shift from VNC to RDP for remote installations. The redesigned web-based partitioning interface introduces enhanced automatic partitioning with guided customization. A new reinstall Fedora option simplifies system recovery, while dual boot setups are now much easier. Only unallocated space is required. Now, this new installer is now the default for Fedora Workstation. It delivers a smoother and more intuitive experience, featuring a progress bar indicator, built-in help, configuration review, and a visit to skip unnecessary steps. Overall, the refreshed installer offers a modern, user-friendly interface that makes installing Fedora easier than ever. Fedora 42 comes with GNOME 48 out of the box. This new desktop environment brings some of the scintillating features. Now let's start with digital well-being. In settings, you will find a new option called well-being, which is similar to the macOS screen time. It shows you how much time you spent on your computer and provides tools to help you limit the usage. For example, you can set a screen time limit. You can also set reminders to take breaks. So when you set a reminder, GNOME Shell will notify you to manage screen time for better health. GNOME 48 brings dynamic triple buffering, which improves the perceived smoothness of GNOME by reducing skip frames and making animations more fluid. But technically, it enhances the motor capabilities by allowing the compositor to start working on the next frame as early as possible even when the previous frames has not been displayed yet. In practice, it helps in situations where there is a sudden burst of activity in the compositor. For example, when the GNOME Shell overview is opened after a period of long activity. The KDE Plasma version of Fedora is no longer just a spin. It has now become an official addition just like Fedora Workstation, Code OS, IoT, and Server. Fedora 42 is the first release where KDE Plasma is offered as a full edition. It comes with latest KDE Plasma 6.3.4, KDE Framework 6.12.0, and many KDE default applications. Now this makes Fedora a great choice for people using Windows 10 who want to switch before support ends on October. Fedora has a new version called Fedora Cosmic Spin. It uses the Cosmic desktop environment made by System76. But this desktop is modern and simple to use with helpful features. Now, one cool feature is auto tiling, which can automatically arrange windows in a grid. You can choose to use tiled windows, regular floating windows, or both in different workspaces.
You can also change theme colors to your liking and save your favorite looks. I made a separate video on this topic. Check the link in the description for more information. Fedora 42 ships with the latest kernel 6.13. The latest kernel enhances hardware support, boosts energy efficiency, and strengthens security with essential patches, ensuring seamless compatibility with modern devices and architectures. Now, some of the other changes include Fedora Live Media now uses ERO-FS instead of SquashFS for better efficiency and alignment with RHEL. RPM can now create users and groups based on system users' configurations, improves performance by reducing I.O. and CPU overhead using BTRFS reflinks but not enabled by default, and DNFI now automatically removes expired and obsolete repository keys for smoother software management. Overall, I would say Fedora 42 is a fantastic stable release for Linux users, which is smoother and faster now. You can download and try Fedora 42 on bare metal by installing it on a separate drive or partition. So let me know what do you think about it in the comments section down below. Thank you so much for watching. This has been KSK Royal. I will see you in the next one.